Oh, about fell. Look how clear that water is. That's beautiful. Good thing about waders is you don't have to worry about losing your boots. But you do have to worry about stuff poking them. Well, we're here, folks. I won't give up my best shot today. We'll use some swim baits because that's what we was killing them on the other day. As you can see, we got crystal clear water. And this lake is absolutely beautiful. out with this swim bait on regular old Texas rig. Swim baits out here though, those are the that's the way to go. Real slow off the bottom. This lake's filled with a lot of grass. You guys have never been out here. You gotta get out here as soon as you can. My favorite thing about Ohio is, is this place right here. A lot of beautiful places in Ohio too. But this one is definitely my favorite. Oh, I just had a bite, I do believe. Maybe that was just some grass, but it felt like it was tugging. Oh, literally just broke my line, guys. Literally just broke my line. That was a... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, they're biting the swim bait. I'm not even going to take time to... Oh my gosh. Broke my line. <laughs> Had to have been a good one. It thudded it pretty good. I'm gonna get a backlash. Trying to get back to business here. All right, here seems like a good spot. Maybe fight through it. Let's see if I can't get a hold on camera real quick. I know I'm coming up to some fire, it looks like. With all this wind blowing up against this bank, I better prepare. 
best I can. I'm gonna finesse, use this. It's like a finesse style swim bait. I thought there was a beaver dam out here, but it doesn't look like there is one, at least to my vision. Maybe I'm just overlooking it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we come out here for today. Nice. That's about two and a half, three. That's what I like to see right there. On the finesse, remember right on the windy point. <laughs> Trying to figure. pounder on the swim bait the old hog pond flying a little bit too far here I want to get off this camera and uh, get the GoPro out get some footage with that Exactly sure how deep it is right here, but it's towards the tail end here. Basically, what I'm doing with this swim bait is casting as far as I can, letting it sink, and I'm reeling it back as slow as I can. I'm probably still going a little bit too fast. can feel some grass in there though. That's good. I'm gonna chuck it clear out here in the middle. bit smaller all right I think I found him here nice little chunk thanks dude there's two on the day two out of three all right I think I got a little idea here I figured they'd be out here I 
Okay, that's some grass. I'm trying to find on the edge of that grass, because that's where that fish definitely came from. bump there. Hook sets are always free folks. No way. No way. <laughs> Got one trolling. <laughs> That's awesome. Engulfed it too. No dude. Three. That'd be another mean. That'd be a mess of them right here. End of the day update here. Ended up catching three, I think. I lost one because it broke my line. Hopefully, I got that on film, but I did catch a good one on film today. So I was glad to get out here. Thank the Lord above for that one. Not too, not too often you get to come out here and fish during February. I got to fish on my birthday this year, and that definitely never happens. So I think we're going to have an early spring here in a. Alright guys, round two, I'm hitting this pond that is on my way home basically. I got a little bit of daylight left so I figured I'd utilize it. Well, we're at the new pond guys. At the new pond. That's about three pounder. Came up and slammed it first. First cast, essentially, but uh, second good one of the day. We'll see ya. Thank you, big mama. Right off the beaver dam. He's a little chunky too. Kill him out here on the swim bait. February already. Looks like he's 
got some issues there.